What is going on everybody? Thank you for clicking on to the video. So many questions about my famous poverty brownie. If you guys want to watch the original version, I'm going to have it linked down below, but I have updated it over the years. So this is going to be the poverty brownie 2.0. This is the recipe that I eat every single day before bed and I have for about three years now. It is absolutely incredible and the great part about it is it's only three ingredients. So here's what you're going to need. You're going to need some baking powder. You're going to need some unsweetened cocoa. And most importantly, you are going to need some PE Science Select protein powder. My favorite for this recipe is the chocolate cupcake, chocolate cupcake or the chocolate peanut butter cup. I just think the chocolates work the best. Now you guys can save 15% on any PE Science product using Travis at PEScience.com and it's not just because I'm sponsored that I'm saying this, but if you don't use the PE Science, it's not going to be the recipe that you want. And it, it's not just me saying that. This is a Snapchat that I got from someone that tried to make it using a different brand. This is what happens if you make the protein brownie without PES protein. So the product placement is over, but seriously, it does make a difference because of the way casein and blend, and that is why it comes out so perfectly. Most of the times when you make anything with protein, it dries out and it ends up being disgusting, but this brownie is delicious, which is why I eat it every single day. So let's get straight into it. This is how simple that it is. You only need two scoops of the PE Science Protein. That is the big change. I upped it from one scoop, so it's not as poverty. It has about 100 more calories but just trust me, the way that it turns out makes it very, very worth it. You're going to use five grams of this cocoa. Some people say this isn't necessary, but you know what, it's only three ingredients as is, just keep it in there. And then you are going to use five grams of baking powder. Now, did I keep it five and five for simplicity's sake? Absolutely. Now, somebody left a comment on one of my videos saying that their mother told them that five grams of baking powder is too much. And to that, I would say, listen to your mother, not some 30-year-old idiot on the internet, but that is just what I use. And then a very, very important step is the amount of water that you use. So I use about 105 grams of water. And at this point in my life, I don't even weigh it because I make it every night. I can eyeball it very well. But for you guys, I've weighed it out, so it's good to go. And once you have all of that mixed into the bowl, all you have to do is put it in the microwave for one minute and it comes out perfect. So for me, this is the perfect consistency. I like mine to be gooey in the middle. Megan and I are a little bit different. Megan likes it a little bit more cooked, but for me, I like it runny just so it's like a chocolate, what is it, like a chocolate malt? Is that what it is? Like a lava cake is what it is, I think. So, and the other thing I want to mention, the bowl size. So typically, I've been using this big old bowl and it would fill up the entire thing because of the baking powder, but what I've been doing lately is having a little bit smaller bowl because it will fill up, it'll fill up more in depth. Anyway, let's just put it in the microwave for a minute and I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. This is actually the best part. It's like licking the cake batter out of the bowl. All right, see, I have this down to a science, guys. It might get a little bit on the edge of the bowl, but that is fine. This is exactly what I'm going for. You can see in the middle, it is just ooey and gooey and perfect. You got some hard hardness. I don't, I don't know baking terms, guys. You know what I'm talking about. Just look at the thing. So of course, we have to do the taste test for you. And this is what you're gonna be looking at. So just take a look. It's not dried up. It is moist and perfect. And this thing has 44 grams of protein, what, five grams of carbs and two grams of fat for like 250 calories. It will be the best 200 calories you ever eat in your entire life. I get messages in my DMs every single day about this recipe. If you have not tried this out, do not sleep on this. And like I said, if you don't like it as runny as I do, just add a little bit more water. But what I prefer to do is take the edge like this, cut it out, and then you're almost gonna dip it into the center like that. Oh my gosh, especially if you're a chocolate fiend like myself, it doesn't get any better than this. Sorry, Alfie, you can't have any of the poverty brownie. Apparently chocolate is not good for doggies, but you'd love it, don't you worry. Why are you hiding your face, man? And that's gonna be it, my friends. I'm gonna put the recipe down in the description. Let me know what you think of it. I guarantee you, you're gonna love it. Don't forget to pick up the pea science protein, either the chocolate cupcake or the chocolate peanut butter cup. That is the key to this. And thank you all so much for taking the time out of your day to watch. You could have been doing anything, 
anything in the entire world and you chose to spend a few minutes with me. Please drop this video a like. Let me know if you want some more recipes. I don't have that many more. This is definitely the best one. But let me know what you think in the comments down below. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. And I look forward to talking to you guys next time.